back here at the TPC River Highlands with the lovely Renee Danino right. from the River 105.9 and also Community Affairs. Hello. Hello. How, how many How many travelers is this for you? Yeah, what's this year for you? Oh, my gosh. Do you uh, go back to the GHO? I go back to the GHO in Weathersfield. Was that, that makes Sammy me Davis? 100 was that years old. Yes, Davis? Sammy Davis. Okay, so that's like so 40 years old. So I've been doing this. And then when I was a police explorer for East Hartford, I used to do traffic Whoa. for the GHO in Weathersfield. That's how long I've been a part of this tournament. Oh, my goodness. So I've been doing So since I was 12 years old, I'm now not 12 years old, and that's how long. So Nathan gave us this stat the other day. So community access, always down the fan yep, zone. Yep. You're going to host probably 100 different charities. Ooh. Yes, we're out here for the golf. Yes, we're out here for so many things, New England. But first and foremost, we're out here for charities, and that's what makes this tournament so awesome. First year when Groob and Bassett took this over, $300,000 to charities. Yeah. That has multiplied by 10. Throw a zero on the back of that. Now $3 million. I can't imagine raising that much money in a lifetime. For them to do it within a week, I know it's a lo little bit longer than that, but still, to have it focused around one event, from going from 300,000 is awesome. 300,000 is unreal. To put an extra zero on that to 3 million over from Sammy Davis Jr. tournament to what we have now, where we're probably going to eclipse that number. Yeah. That's, it's kind of unthinkable. I would have never thought that back then. Well, it, Birdies for Charity has taken on a life of, his own, of its own. And we have the distinction of being the only exclusive media partner of the Travelers Championship because obviously with the PGA and all the other media outlets, right? But for Birdies for Charity, they align themselves with iHeart Communities. And we have been able to do interviews, promoting it, pre-promoting it, then on the spot interviews. And I have to tell you, I have watched this program grow and grow and grow. And it wouldn't have been possible without Taylor Whiting. I have to give her a, a props on this. She has really taken this and grown with this. And, and I was just telling you guys off mic that we've come, we've become like the parents of Birdies for Charity because if, if they can't get an interview through Taylor, then they come to me. Or if they can get it through me, they'll go to Taylor or whatever. But we, we do. So I think this year, Taylor, we've got over 60 interviews lined up, um, not to mention the 40 we did prior to it, right. not to mention the walk-ups. We usually get about 20 walk-ups or so. That's between, amazing. So, like, charities yeah. are just here. They find out they, about yep, you, and they're they like, hey, down. I'll, I'll talk to you. Or or they'll come in and say, oh, I'm so-and-so, and I'm from this part of New England, and this is my rescue or charity. Right. Come on. Come on down. And this year, we've got some special editions. I know it's going to be warm out, but we do have an AC in our booth like you guys, which is very nice. Um, and we've got a cooling breezer. station near oh. us, too. But we have uh, Protectors of Animals are going to have some adoptables with us on Wednesday for the mini golf. But we also have a lot of charities in our booth. So people and pets will be represented. We have military uh, charities coming in. And then we also have a lot of law enforcement coming this year with their canines and comfort dogs to meet and greet the kids in public and maybe throw some water balloons with because it's going to be a little warm. But um, we have some very special treats and surprises down in the in the community access booth, which is right attached to the mini golf, which you're playing in, right, both of you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you got to defend your championship exactly. tomorrow. Well, exactly. I didn't win last year, but we won even when we were playing together three out of four. Oh, okay. So it's been a few years since I All right, well, I, you got to win. Won. He's gotta got win. some redemption. Now, you need some redemption. On, on well, my it's, hand, it's Rachel and Amanda Joe have to play. Yeah, he keeps on blaming them for dragging him I, down. I blame them for everything, <laughs> even though I suck. Yeah, but you've always won. I know. I know. That is a good I'll point. Take, I'll take Ever Ben's side. Ever since they joined the team. It, well, you do know how to swing at a ball, sir. I do. You do know that, <laughs> so I'll give you yeah, that. It's easier a stationary one. It's much easier. I don't play. I took myself out of the tournament. I just host it. So that's how I do that. Actually, Andy Bissett, who has been on your program a million times, Andy Bissett and I came up with a mini golf. He's going to bring this up. Right. So you can ask him about this, and he'll tell you. Nathan will tell you a few years ago, a month before the tournament, and Taylor might remember this too, but a month before the tournament, we were doing an interview, and I said, you should do a mini golf tournament. And then Andy said, that's a good idea. And then Nathan said, well, maybe for next year. And then we forgot that Nathan was in the room, ah. and we came up with a plan. And that's how the mini golf was born. Just another way to get extra additional money right. for charities. And you can go play fantastic. mini golf anytime. Yeah. It's down the fan yeah. zone. The kids love it. It is wide open yeah. for anyone. It's mm -hmm. free of charge. Yep. Um, and it's a good landmark to find birdies for charity. Plus, you guys are right next to the hole in wall gang. Yep. Another place that I had no idea about until I started coming to the Travelers Championship. 
a lot of the charities I think that I've been introduced to over the years uh, originate from Birdies for Charity. Travelerschampionship.com, they have a link for Birdies of Charity, mm-hmm. but I always beg charities that don't even know about this that you have to take advantage it's, of these it's dollars. So, now listen, uh, there, it has been cut off because you know you needed time to promote it. Right. Start but now it for next year. early spring yeah. through May 15th, 31st. Don't quote me on that, but there is a cutoff point. And so e- say you're a charity and you don't believe anything we're saying and you don't do anything, you're probably going to make a couple hundred bucks because people will just pick you Right. Just just by chance. But say you do take advantage of all of the packaging and all the social media help. There's one charity that's over $50,000, I think, right now. There's another charity over 10000 Yeah, there's another charity that's over $75,000. And this is all money that gets funneled through uh, the Birdies for Charity. They pick up all of the fees, so there's no fees associated with it. Webster Bank adds an additional 15% to every dollar that's Look donated. That. I didn't know so, that. Yep, so Webster Bank, and they've been doing that for years, and so they add an extra 15%. So it's free money. So a lot of our charities have events between April, right? Like between April and, and end of play. What they do is they don't take the payment for that event. They say put it through birdies for charity and all of the money that's raised through there. And then it comes through. So it's like they're raising more money. They're like, if you're going to donate, donate between April right. and, and end of play Travelers Championship because then you get 15% of every dollar. Exactly. So the Connecticut uh, Children's Law Center is, I think I saw their post today, they're over 10,000. I know one of the, I, I can't, all the names are escaping me right now because my brain is leaking out of my left ear because of the heat. But, um, mm-hmm. but there's so many charities that are going to be making thousands and thousands of dollars and they say that this is their biggest fundraiser and the Travelers Championship, that team makes it so easy for them to raise money because they don't they, they, the, the package is unbelievable so go to travelerschampionship.com click on birdies for charity you can scroll through all the charities pick one that resonates with you whether it's homelessness hunger uh veterans military canines comfort adoptable pets you name it there is a charity that fits anybody's need on there you can pick one you can pick two and that's it simple as that through end of play and we're interviewing like i said another 60 charities from tomorrow through sunday end of play Talking to Renee Danino from the River 105.9 and uh, also Community Access. I remember a few years ago when Bubba Watson won and they were $200,000 short of $2 million. And because they love Andy Bissett so much Mm -hmm. and Nathan Group here and they know how big the charity is and the 150 charitable organizations that are involved, he cut a check for $200,000 and and made it up to $2 million. So talk about that. What – you know, the, the getting involved, the distribution. Nathan Group was on our show mm-hmm. yesterday talking about this. He, he loves doing the tournament. He's been doing it for two decades. He says the greatest moment for him is cutting those checks for 150 charities in November. So, you know, talk about that. Yeah. Even during COVID, travelers and, and the championship, they, they came up with money mm-hmm. to still make sure that these charities were taken care of. So even though this is a PGA Tour, right, this is a VIP experience special Tour. I don't know all the golf lingo. I do apologize. You nailed it. You what nailed is it? it? You nailed it. It's a signature. A actually. signature it's event. Signature event. Yes. Yes. It's a signature cocktail event. And so, uh, <laughs> I don't know about the anyway, cocktail bar, but it's yeah. a signature cocktail golfing yeah. event. <laughs> but they had to have a charitable arm. They have to be a charitable right. arm. So that's why we have birdies for charity. That's why all the money that comes in goes right back out into the community. So not only is this the biggest sporting event in the state of Connecticut, not only do we bring in world-class golfers, not only do they have charitable arms that they are a part of, and they'll make their own personal donations, as many of the winners have. They've donated right. to other charitable uh, organizations, not only here in Connecticut, but nationwide that have that have branches here in our state. Um, the stimulus, uh, what it does to the economy, what it does to all the local businesses, even the, the I call the, the the small business entrepreneurs, and I'm talking about the people that live along the way, park here, oh, park absolutely. here, and With they the got their burgers and, and dogs yep. going and they're selling them, you know? <laughs> so this brings so much excitement and stimulus into this community. And the fact that, you know, Andy and Nathan are both so committed to bringing world-class players, but they're so committed to the charitable angle. It's not just a throwaway charity event. They no. don't just say, oh, we have to have, you know, X amount of charities that we have to do that. I mean, the the booth that is that has been built down there for community, I Heart Communities, the, the length of what they went to for the mini golf to show charities that they care and then have it integrated into the whole entire event is just world-class, and it's just as on par as the game itself. So charities in New percent. England – 
um, benefit from it. People in Connecticut know that this is, you don't even have to like golf. Sorry, I said that out loud, but you don't have to know anything about golf. <laughs> To come to this event and have a good time. Oh, I have been not, here yeah. 100 years. I've never seen them play golf. I've only ever seen mini golf here. I didn't even know they played golf. I you're didn't even know. Surrounded by it, like I, you're right in, but you're, I you're right doing, in the middle of it. But I'm like. I'm in I'm in doing my <laughs> interviews and I'm eating and the food is so good. So this is my day. I come in. I get an egg sandwich, Ooh, a coffee, nice. 40 waters. Mm -hmm. I do my interviews. I play mini golf. I play with dogs. I go get. A sausage and peppers grinder because they make the best here. I get water. I get a fruit. Then I get ice cream. Then I do more interviews. Goodness. Then I play mini golf. And then I play with dogs. And then I go home and they're like, people ask me questions about the players and where they're ranking. I'm like, for what? <laughs> for, what are you talking about? How much pizza <laughs> what are you talking they about? ate? I'm like, I didn't see anybody at the ice cream line. I don't know. So they have pizza now. They well, they oh, oh, you got the no, they got blue. the big. That's new. Yeah, you, have yeah. you noticed that? Yeah, this, so they, that was this, Andy's big brain yeah, yeah. three yeah. years back ago. Yep. Ice cream yep. and coffee. We love that. They we love that. This is so trucks. Andy. So yep. two years ago was the first ten. Yep. Three years later, it's three, three tents. huge tents. Yeah. Now they, well, they moved the pizza bed. It's not even there anymore. Yeah, it was so only for today. They had brought in a six thousand pound oven from Italy. No, that's just on the other side. Pizza. That's yeah, a, that's and right that's by Danino. And right, she's gonna get the. So walk. that I know about the pizza because Andy and I are very excited about He's the so pizza. So proud of that. I know it's it's <laughs> like so exciting to have the pizza there. I am I am thrilled about it. But the thing of it is, is that there's plenty of bit now. Obviously, I'm having fun and I'm teasing a little bit. Of course, I've seen some golf, but. Um, um, sure. They have bit, well, not a lot, but anyway, <laughs> but they have big screens. I mean, four thousand foot screens. I don't know. Four thousand foot. I don't, I don't know, know about a large. Foot. Yeah, is, it, is maybe, that big? Yeah, yeah that's pretty Drop big. Drop a zero on there. Okay. Yeah, Anyways, right, they yeah, have big screens, so no matter where you are, say you're with your kids and they are getting right. a little restless and they want to play, so you take them to the fan zone. There's so many kids activities. There's plenty of places to sit covered cooling benches and you've got the big screen right in front of you so you don't have to miss anything so no. there is an area every part every square inch of this facility there is an area for you to not miss any of the action each one of our websites can take you yeah. to iheart communities fox sports 979.com is one i would love for everybody to go to to find uh what renee danino yeah. is doing but these interviews are very important as well not only do they get the word out for these charities mm -hmm. but i think they create kind of a community and a lot they of do. relationships I didn't know anything about the uh, people that started youth hockey in inner city until last year, until you introduced me to them that mm -hmm. were down in the fan zone talking to you. Again, the hole in the wall gang is kind of near and dear to my heart that I had known nothing about eight years ago until I finally came here. But I think that, like, first of all, tell people where they can get that information, where yeah. they can get those interviews. And where are some people maybe that you weren't expecting to fall in love with and now all of a sudden you're best friends because meeting them out oh here at the golf course? Oh, jeez. That is the hardest question of all because I can't do my job it's normal. A long list. I can't. Everybody I interview, I have to invite them into my family. Of I course. can't help it. That's the way it's always been. But House of Heroes, Protectors of Animals. Um, we have the Connecticut Children's Law. Um, we have um, Malta House. We have Malta House. Um, Fidelco. Me to we of have Fidelco. Um, yeah. Fidelco's amazing. Um, blind for the blind. Hole, hole the in the blind. wall gang. Uh, Camp Current. We have. Oh my gosh! There's hundreds and I'm sorry. Special Olympics, of course. I mean, they're a part. And then we have right. the military ones. Um, we have so many of the chair i can't i love every one of them but you can go to like you said like what ben said if you want to go to the uh, foxes fox sports 979.com dot com you're going to see a tab and look for community or content look for community access directly it's my community access.com birdies for charity here's the thing here's the thing about these interviews these interviews and the links will be live forever but you can only donate through birdies for charity through end of play sunday so these interviews are super important right now we do them and they go up we do the interview in about 10 minutes in about under five minutes so like let's just call it 15 minutes one interview is done up we pump it out on all of our iheart radio stations across the state the charities pump it out and then that's your time they put their direct link up so if you like and that resonates with you you can click right there or go to travelerschampionship.com and look for those charities again there but to hear interviews to get links to find out how you can support volunteer all the pet rescues uh connecticut food chair comes down all the time um Oh my gosh, I'm like at a loss because I just love. And even for people to use these things, because like yeah. a lot of people don't know where to go, especially if you're yeah. just new to the area and you have a cause in your heart mm -hmm. or you need some help and you need yeah. to know where 
get pointed in the right direction, this is a perfect opportunity it's, to it's find out It's a perfect, all that and I, I can't tell you how many kids and causes the Tommy Fund is huge. Um, Autism Speaks, Autism Families. Um, let's see here. Oh, my goodness. Um, and then a lot of the hospitals will come down and their nonprofit branches will come down, and uh, we get to, to share what, what they do there. And, and actually, what I really love about my booth so much is that we have so many people coming in from different charities. So you could have a charity that's for, you know, um, ha- Habitat for Humanity, right? Then you have a, the Malta House. Then you have Connecticut Food Share. Then they talk, and all of a sudden, like in three weeks from now, I'm exactly. like, oh, they did an event together, and right. I didn't even get invited. What <laughs> exactly. the heck, guys? You know? <laughs> they but cut they, you out. They cut me <laughs> out. But it's like almost like a little mini networking right, exactly. area. To your point of what you That's were just fantastic. saying, it's like a networking area of of charities. So I am honored to have been um, a part of the Travelers Championship for so many years. I am even more honored that iHeart Communities has the reputation that it has, yeah. and that we are invited to be there i mean you saw how fancy my tent is like i have like a oh, really nathan, nathan groove the tournament director is quite proud that your tent is better than it's, our tent it is definite well okay well, here's the deal you have a great view yes you have a great view. view we have you the have best. the best view but for me i just wanted the air conditioner so i'm happy about that but i love my i you love like my little area comfort. I like the view of comfort, <laughs> but I also just love, it's like a little, fam- they did like a little family room for me this year too. So it's like, it's just feels like family. It feels like home. I know all the volunteers here, as you both do as well. It's the same people year in, year out. You build, you know, you see them. They show me pictures of their dogs. I can't tell you how many dogs <laughs> that I've seen <laughs> have been adopted. And then, then it's like heartbreaking. They're like, oh, Duke passed away last oh, year. And then there's this. Up. And it's oh, like, no. but, but, I, but it's like, but it's, but it's like I see pictures of kids and people growing up and new babies being born it's and weddings. And it's here. just it like, it's, it's the best. Well, it's the best, village. best. And then the we have Cromwell PD over there. <laughs> so we love those guys and um well pun intended yeah. i always think your place is a cool place to hang and especially this always week man been. like you could float into birdies for charity because it is so comforting it's yeah. so cool you're gonna cool down in there and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you find out that you have a bunch of new friends before you leave that place and pretty i have mints on the table too I, I, you're I bring by the way. mother of charities in this state <laughs> and you have charities. been as long as i've known you i have been at iheart radio for 20 years Mother of charities. I 20 years charities. in, <laughs> in, in radio. And you involved with a lot of great yes. ones. Like the well, Jordan same, Porco. Same, is, same thing. You yeah. know, because my nephew committed suicide a couple years mm. ago. So mm. we've gotten multiple calls from Jordan Porco. Absolutely. People. Jordan Porco Foundation. An Marisa and, and Ernie that started it because of their son, Jordan. They are they are family to me. Marisa and I yeah. are just actually getting together. But um, I also, so to take it to a different direction, too, Rob, when you and I were first meeting, I didn't know all the years that I was doing the canine Olympics that one of my favorite dogs was canine Dibs from Manchester, Dibs, yeah. um, Officer Johnson. And so they were like, oh, do you think um, Dibble will want to come to one of our events? And I was like, well, I know he likes cops and I know he likes dogs. Like, it can't be that hard. And I'm like, hey, this dog <laughs> Dibs. And the, they're like, no, that's Dibble. The dog was named after Rob. Dibble had a successful career with the Manchester Police and Department. Retired, right? and, and the first K-9 Olympics I went to, yep. they retired They the retired dog. him, yeah. and that's why they it wanted him there. Day. And so we have pictures of Rob on on the dog's last day, and it was like Big Dibble and Little Dibble I all know. together. But it was it was so cool. But there's so much connection in the Connecticut community, um, you know, and, and, and with this event and all the events that we've done and over the years together has been truly an honor. You guys really wear your hearts on your sleeve. I like the wine ones the best. When we're well. doing charity in, you can drink <laughs> wine. I'm in. I'm, I mean, <laughs> let's, let's not kid ourselves. I just did a recipe on the air. I like to call it mommy juice. Even though my kids have four legs, it's still mommy juice. Um, but, yeah, no, it's been it's been great. And you guys do such an incredible job uh, here year in and year out. I know you, you – this is just like – like I said, we don't do – this job because we have to be out here. We do because it's a part of us and, and who we are. And again, you know, walking in through security, it's like you know them or yeah. talking to the people that we're interviewing. It's they're a part of our family, a part of our lives. And you know, like Taylor, who I, I drive nuts here, but you know, I love her. She's like my, my bud with birdies for, for charity. Plus, she drives me around in a celebrity golf cart. So don't be a stranger. I do like that. You can go visit Renee Danino yes. in the fan zone. Doesn't matter if you're part of charity, but yep. it would be great if you are. And you never know what kind of connections you can make in birdies for charity's tent. A- all right, well, absolutely. Thank you, Renee Danino. We love you. Stay dearly. cool all week, girl. Stay Ugh. cool. This segment was brought to you by the Metro Harford Alliance. Pulse of the Region is recording live from Travelers Championship Thursday morning. The Metro Harford Alliance. Learn more at MetroHarford.com.